should be of an optimum level in all these four paths of righteousness, wealth, desire, and liberation. The entire burden of the car rests on these four tasks. These tasks in turn are dependent upon the air conditioning there. <coughs> these tasks are something which could be seen externally by us. Tires are what you see outwards, but that which tends to control the motion of the tires is something which is inside the car. So for these tires to run along the course of the road, they should be the steering which is inside the car. This steering wheel is the mind. As the mind turns, so will the tires turn. So in this journey of the car, if these four Kushatas or the tires have to fall in tune with the road proper, then the V or the steering V or the mind should be held under control. You have the two lights in front of the car. There are two eyes. That if the car is up against an obstacle or obstruction, we blow the horn. This horn in this context is our mouth. And the car necessarily needs petrol. It might be a brand new car, but without petrol it cannot run. And this petrol is the food that we take. And then again, we need oil for the car. <laughs> and this oil is the tea, coffee, and some other drinks that we take. <laughs> and then again in the car, there is an extremely comfortable seat. <laughs> and also, the place where the mind, the steam wheel is, next to, it, next to it is the owner of the car. And that owner is the heart. The comfortable seat by the side of this is the heart. And seated in the heart is the owner of the heart. Now everything is in its place for right. But until you start it, the car cannot run. So that key starts the car in the buddhi of intellect. So if this car of the body has to run a full distance, along this path of flight, everything should be in order, everything should be in tip-top condition. I The beginning to essential components of any car are the clutch, the clutch and the accelerator. Then you should also have the brakes for the car. Now what is the brain that we associate with the body? It is this process of controlling the senses. Vignana is clutch. Vignana is the clutch. 
You must try and give a certain place in keeping with one's taste. And one should follow one's behavior set out for him. Certainly, you can bring about an equality in terms of the mind. So also when you keep conversing with boys and girls on the one hand, suppose you go to a boy and address him as a girl, would he keep quiet? Sarva Bhagavad Gita, 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 S
constitutes punya of punya mana tu bapa tu mana kaya kita tu jejak sekali kata kita mana tu manci cerita ni punya kita mana tu kiri cerita ni bapa there is no distinction between what you call it is a bad the sin or the fruit of a good deed doing good to others constitutes punya of good deed ini dulu ini bapa tu lo kira cara kaki mana mana tu bapa tu mesti kita tu doing bad likewise constitutes sin in a way in the sin there are different degrees paapa mulanni kekante minchinadi parulaku nindinchedanna itaku nindinchadam anekadi chaala paapa it has been said that against all other actions which could be harmful to others the greatest or the most intense one is criticizing or abusing others itaku nindinchadani paapa venapudu bhagavantu nindinchadu mari paapa so abusing others if this was to be sin what about abusing god what type of sin could that be kaluga manu sarvalu yentu kudu daivatva unde kudu satyani butti kina vetti yavaru kudu nindinchada one who recognizes the fact that god resides in all beings would never attempt to abuse a second person ikkada rendu kashta unda ee ikka paradoshana ante emiti then there is again a question about what constitutes criticizing or abusing others dinni manu eduruga velli ye vyakti tappu chesnado aa vyakti ki manu cheppi savarichukunna tappu le now here supposing a person has done a wrong you go face to face with him and tell him by way of correcting him there is nothing wrong in this paradoshana mela vyakti chaala sukshma vyakti yokka vicharam untunda this idea of paradoshana using others has got a very subtle meaning ye ve vyakti tappu chesadu aa vyakti ki moruguna poyi itarato ee vyakti gunchi cheppane dushana anta suppose a person has done a wrong thing you don't tell him on his face instead you go to somebody else and behind the back of the first person you start pointing out what this man ye tappu chesadu aa vyakti ki edu edu ga maatadam cheta paapam ledhu this comes under the clause of abusing him Suppose you go to him directly and tell him nothing wrong with this. आ व्यक्ति को मर गया वो ही आ व्यक्ति ने उसके चेहरे का मार काटा दूषण ना ना. Instead, you go behind him as it were, and in his absence you talk about it. That's a great sin. इन लोगों ये उसमें के लिए ताने ताने ये सब को ये कितने ताने कितने छोटा ये आता है. Suppose you go and tell the person concerned on his face. Then there is just a chance that he might realize his mistake. ఒక చిన్న ఉదాహరణ ఎస్ స్మాల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇతను అతను ఇద్దరు గురించి నన్ను గురించి మాట్లాడుతున్నారు సపోజింగ్ దిస్ పర్సన్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ ఎ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దిస్ ఓన్లీ ఎ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దిస్ పర్సన్ హియర్ అండ్ ఎ సెకండ్ ఇండివిడ్యువల్ ఫర్ దే దే టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మీ అతను ఇద్దరి దగ్గర మాట్లాడతాను నన్ను గురించి చెట్టుగా మాట్లాడుతున్నారు దట్ పర్సన్ ఓవర్ దే యాస్ హి ఇస్ టాకింగ్ టు దిస్ పర్సన్ హియర్ వెన్ దే టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మీ He is talking that a bad turn is about me. Idi dushna ga. This certainly is the case of abuse. Nijenga yeh tu ki yeh unne maatsa ki maaro unne sathe yeh 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 This is a case of trying to amplify the wrong that you are doing. Supposing you are really talking about it, and I ask you a question, you could tell me that what you are really talking about. It is not true. You are not talking about it. You are saying you are not talking about anything because what you are talking is not true. If it had been true, you would have told me without any reservation. Certainly, you could tell me what you are talking about. If it had been true, what you are talking about? Why would you say that? because you are talking of something which is not true proper you are really committing a sin when the vyakti ka kala ki ka abhiprayam yedo cheta padamo padam nindinchadaniki prayatnam chestam be the case of abusing a person in his actions also because of our differences of opinion we tend to criticize a second person yavvaraina sari manaku telisinattuga tappu cheste vaa dayaki ra nunchi saa kritikistunnaru
amani chestunaru ee sarini kaadu chapochu kaani ee dappulu mitrulu ekkuga cheppi veenni kandichadaniki ekku cheyalani ante manchi ka so to generalize this is what transfers irrespective of who's done it irrespective of the magnitude of what is done it the best course would be to go face to face and tell them look here son we have done it mother we have done it and thereby see a rectification of the shock tapu chesina vaari eduruga kaakunda veeru chedra poi tapu chesina vaari vishayalu vaari cheptam valla ide dushana ga maaru so rather than do this you go to a third person and talk about what this person has done that certainly constitutes abusing of resources this is what is called another sin మరొకరి మనసును నొప్పింప చేయడానికి అయ్యే కృషిని అంతా తాను పాపం తిన్నని లెక్కలు వేసుకోవచ్చు దట్ మీన్స్ ఆల్ ద ఎఫర్ట్స్ విచ్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఎసెన్షియల్లీ ఇన్ హార్మింగ్ ఆర్ ఇంజరింగ్ సంబడీ ఎల్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ సి ఇతరుల మనసును నొప్పించరా యు షుడ్ నాట్ హర్ట్ ద ఫీలింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ పర దూషితం కానిటువంటి సత్యం ట్రూత్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ విక్టిమ్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ ఎ పర దూషితం కానిటువంటి ఒక దేహం లైక్వైజ్ హావ్ ఎ బాడీ which cannot be brought under the para bhushana kaani kunti yokka chetu also have such hands such limbs which do not do any harm ive punya vunata all these constitute punya chetu to chese kunti karmalu palu inchu cheyadam manasu sakka chuchi kunti yokka itaru baadalu adi paapamu inka dorito ani aadi vaani baadi chetu kunti yokka maatalu paapamu kanukane sakya vaaku nirbala udayamu nisvartha seva ee moode punya so the hands they should be seen to it that they do not do any harm the mind such that it doesn't hurt anyone the mouth such that it doesn't utter a harsh word by way of hurting somebody else so this is what has been called do something good by the means of your hands utter a pleasant word and let your mind have healthy thoughts about others this is punya ni ishtamaya hello hello santosh if you like somebody you certainly say hello hello and she thanks you me is to me would be it suppose you don't like the person it's all very well if you were here to say goodbye and you can be either you can see you are also part of the basic what you can have in the samadhi you can have in the clear matter and part of it so it's not this if you start doing a harm to the person start abusing him start criticizing him and try to demean him these are not things which you must attempt నాయకత్వం నీవు ఫాలో చేయలేకపోవచ్చు ఇట్స్ నాట్ లైక్ ఇట్ దట్ యు మే నాట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు ఫాలో వాట్ ఐ యు షుడ్ డు నాట్ యు షుడ్ ఫాలో నాట్ పోవచ్చు వాట్ ఐ యు షుడ్ డు ఫాలో అండ్ వైస్ వర్స్ మంచి నాయకత్వం నీవు ఫాలో చేయలేకనే నీ ఇష్టం నేను ఫాలో చేయలే నీ ఇష్టం నువ్వు ఫాలో చేయ్ నాయకత్వం నీ ఫాలో చేస్తా నాయకత్వం నీకు నీవు తట్టించేటువంటి అధికారం నీకు ఎక్కడ వెరీ గుడ్ ఇఫ్ యు డోంట్ విష్ టు డోంట్ ఫాలో వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ యు టు డు ఐ విల్ డు ఫాలో వాట్ యు వాంట్ మీ టు డు if you cannot respect what i want you to follow how can you get the right to criticize or ridicule what i am wanting you to do kal naach tan dikrishti ki tarika nik le you do not need tan dikrishti ki tarika nik le naach tan ne follow chesta ee tan no follow chey okari tan ko tan handam kalinchi ee samajamlo meeri asanthi ni kalinchadani pedda paap i do not have a right to stand in your way you do not have a right in standing in my way If you appreciate this, all will be well with the society. Rather than do this, keep engaging ourselves in endless debates and arguments. That is the greatest harm that can come to the society. Kalunga, man samastha vishu chepila pu, ite ko pata pu namu kunda poch. And that would be the sin part. Now, for instance, if you were to talk about our organization, some people may not accept this. Namma kalle kunda poya pu, ni re mo pu na ko chepi disko. And suppose this is the case, you really don't want to proceed in that matter. Atanu mara samasthana namma le deni, atanu kudu mara dhoshu chala. Just because that person has not okay what we are doing, we should not attempt to criticize them. Ni namma kudu ni, you follow chi. Your belief is yours, follow that. Atanu namma kudu ni, atanu vajan pe. If he doesn't have belief likewise, leave him alone. Ante kari, atanu namma kudu ni, atanu 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 kudu ni. So instead of that, supposing you cling to his notions and suffer in the process, then you need not to ask him to brush your teeth for it. Do not tend to change your own faith or belief. Tell me, can you put that? Either son or wife, can you put that? Mother or son, wife or husband. Can you put that? Can you put that? An elder brother or a younger one. Yeah, but it is just a man. Each 
one believes is his own. You have a disease, your son eats the medicine, will you be cured? <laughs> your son is hungry, you eat the food, does your son satiate his hunger?
different to send their wars to us, it might be well that we go to them personally, explaining the scope and objectives and the ideals laid down before a course like this. Mana, did you see that in the Bible class teachers will come along? Only the team will be able to set the room, chair by time. Now, our foreign delegates here, the Bible class teachers, will have to take some extra care and caution in some of these things. Bible class teachers do is drugs and is cotton cotton and they do. For instance, now, it is a common practice for youngsters to be drug addicted. He drugs and So we should make an effort to stop them, to prevent them from taking these drugs. And because of this drug addiction, they are also going away and they are losing track of their own nature. They develop nervous weakness. For instance, 
is by prema, prema, prema. For instance, you say prema, prema. Prema na rin yung isa't ang mutsang ispiyo ng lili. Merely going over the word love has no meaning. Yung prema na rin yung wag na kwa yung prema sa ito yung wag na kwa yung kaya. So even as you chant or go over this word love, that spring of love should well up within you. Ha, prema na parang yung pangsa. And share that love with others. Ante ka yung prema, prema na kwa yung kaya yung kaya. So, we are be going over the word love, love is of no use. You must fill your hearts with that love. And from our hearts, share this love with others. You say the word love through a medium of the tongue, but don't fill the heart with love. What's the meaning? What's the use of this? So the first and foremost thing is, whatever you are saying does outwardly, fill your heart with that. Then, in addition to all this, the first thing is, 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 the thing over here, in our organization, all those people who are working should behave as brothers and sisters of one family. In our organization, different people could be doing different things. What you must understand is there is a common undercurrent that is the sign principle. This is the principle of love. We should not hate each other. We should not abuse each other. We should not do harm to each other. We should not envy or be jealousy of others. Iti kebalamu ni ke daniel ka bada nunu da nunu jalan ki lokasi ni. If you were to indulge in all this, you will come to grief if not now later on. Karena ni mana semua tu kita cekak cekak ni baru tau. Because by doing these things, you are bringing a bad name to the organisation. Saya sangat terlalu nunu na orang kuli. Saya sangat terlalu wakil kuli bina bina orang kuli. Wakil kuli bintang bintang mana orang kuli. We say that we are members of the Sai organization, but we nevertheless have our difference of opinion. Each one wants to act in his own way. This can only bring harm to the organization. So first and foremost thing, from the most, from the innermost depths of your heart, remove these differences based on personalities. Have this firm faith in you that each one is a brother, each one is a sister And even in the conversation that we indulge in, do not use harsh words. If you were to use harsh words, you are hurting the feelings of the other person. But then remember then, it's not the heart of the second person that you're injuring. You're injuring Swami himself. If you have such feelings in you, certainly it can become sacred. Your heart will become sacred. That in turn will do you. Your future will be a rosy one. So, whoever enters the Sai organization should first of all develop this purity. If purity develops this purity, purity is not a purity that takes place. Once you have this purity within you, you can always go about bringing about this unity amongst others. Yet, can a unity who could have a divinity be used? And there you have unity prevailing, divinity descends. So constantly go over these ideas. First purity, then unity, and then divinity. Purity, then unity. Oh, that is, that is, that is. Give the purity. Artificial. 
pressure. You go on addressing each other as brothers and sisters. What type of bond is this? Merely artificial and superficial. Have this beauty in you. Even if you don't address others as brothers and sisters, verily you are all bound closely and you have the things running through your life. A small example over here. What do I do? On the one side we have a few pieces of gold. Mari Bhagavatna silver pieces picker. And then some other spot you have pieces of silver. Mari Bhagavatna brass pieces picker. And then a third spot pieces of brass. We go by the copper pieces picker. And fourth spot copper pieces. Mari Bhagavatna iron pieces picker. And the fifth spot iron pieces. But you know magic picking up bro. He iron pieces ne full chest picker. We do very good picker ali. He gold pieces ne full chest. Supposing at the center of this disposition you place a magnet, what would the magnet do? It would attract the iron pieces. It would not go to attract the gold or silver merely because they are costly or valuable. Karuna, Ritina, Anitwari Mana attack chain of Sarika. So eight 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 man, one attack is chain musical. Pure heart in the good keys, iron in the parallel, poor people in the sorry, one man attack chain. So like that, just because somebody is rich. You don't have to attract him. Just because somebody is educated, you don't have to attract him. It's better that you attract a person who's pure, who could be poor or rich. Kanta, but poor and rich, educated, not educated. If into one dia matra karo, discrimination take over. Manu, pure heart, adi man kaal. So here we don't have to discriminate between the poor and the rich, between the educated and the uneducated. What we must seek is purity of heart. So here, God is the magnet. Yavar purity of the man, full chest. Whoever is pure is pulled by God thus. I am king, I am prime minister, I am minister. Some people minister, minister, star, no, you can't. Prime minister, prime minister, star, no, you can't. King, king, star, no, you can't. God, pure heart, no, you can't. Then you stand for the chest. I am a king, I am a prime minister, I am a minister. You could boast thus. You could be all this, but the king will be where he is, the PM will be where he is, the minister will be where he is. That person who's pure, he could be totally poor, but he will go and place his gods. He will go and be with God. These people are like iron pieces. I say, he iron pieces to Kurano when you learn some scar of Jaya. But then again, you need iron pieces. Need certain transformation. The iron pieces are not only given to rust and dust to the magnet to change. So this iron pieces could be iron all right, but supposing it has dust and rust, the magnet will not attract it. Kalunda, magnet pull change only, magnet to power level to reduce it only. And now because the magnet has not attracted it, you should not start abusing the magnet that has no power. Magnet to power only. Yeah, but we need to make sure. Yeah, but we need to make sure. I mean, we need to make sure. 
that date is pronounced. Now, one other question pertains to this aspect. Something to do with God. Our common belief is that at one stage, God was young, a boy, then he became a middle-aged person, the third stage, he would become an old-aged person. For instance, in this present context, possibly these people have read it somewhere, so they are quoting what they have read. Then it has been stated, Krishna, 11 years and 52 days, at this point of time. This is being put down as Krishna being a boy. This has been equated to his boy of days. Now, what you must believe is that as far as God is concerned, there is nothing like boy of adolescence or youth or old age. He doesn't have any age. This body that he has worn. Possibly you can assess it and give some age, but by himself he has no age. God is always beyond time.
from different places. Now, where are they may have been? What has happened now? All of them have now converged on one spot, Kashantiri. That is, they have now reached or attained the goal of God. That is one. Basically. They have adopted different paths. Their notions or ideas change. Principles could be different. But what you seek to attain is one. And that ultimate destination is one. That is Prema or love. So through the medium of love, you define all religions. So it has been said, cast of humanity and the religion of love. So what is the Sai religion? Sai religion is the quintessence of all the religions and you find them all. This is the synthesis of all religions. That is the unity problem. So do not ridicule other things. There is nothing wrong in any religion. A person may have developed a likeness for a particular religion. That in turn gives rise to some differences of religion from his Nothing wrong with any religion. Try to exterminate the hatred towards one religion and another. Don't exterminate the religions as such. So we should exercise the greatest caution in terms of this religion. As far as religion is concerned, our members should exercise the greatest caution to see that though they don't give rise to themes of hatred, animosity or illness. Then there is a question asking to the, to the boys and girls, is it good to have a jyoti or a flame for meditation? Certainly, it's extremely good. A certain guideline, a certain form given to God, a certain description. <coughs> Whereas if you take a thing, it is universal in its scope. You talk of Kamsoma Jyotir Gamaya. Remove this darkness of ignorance of mind. That is a prayer uppermost in every being, irrespective of his religion or faith. So it is absolutely nice and good to have a flame for meditation. <laughs> Now we must teach the children that even as you have lit this lamp of sleep, look at it steadily and constantly. As you are seeing thus, slowly close your eyes. Having closed the eyes, whatever flame you have seen externally, bring it into your personality. Gradually, imagine that you have now brought the outward flame within your heart. And then imagine that the same flame has been taken to the head as such. And from then on, take the flame to your hands and imagine it. In this manner, take this flame down on a journey, touching each limb of your body. And then gradually bring it out of your body. Bring the jyoti of flame out of your mouth and imagine that you are taking it to everybody else around you. Take this flame into each and every one around you. Your enemies, your friends, your relations, everybody. Imagine that you are taking this jyoti into each of them. 
try to give him the lessons of the human value program. These two are complementary to each other. They do not work against each other. These are like the two wheels of the cart or the two wheels of the bird. Only then can you first secure a semblance of a balance and the journey will be smooth. But then again, the human values should be taught to a person who has attained a certain degree of understanding. Children of the age 8 or 10 years, if you teach human values, they cannot understand. So, so till such time as the child becomes 8, 10 or 11 years, you try to teach them or give them, relate them or narrate them stories, small parables with morals, with a certain lesson as such. Once they have grown, graduated out of that age and become adolescent, try to give them the human value program. <coughs> now here, there is a basic truth which I necessarily have to tell you now. What we are calling is the human values program as something which has been welcomed by people all around the world and they are prepared to implement it. The Bhakti Navahi Shri Director Pano, Mahati, Bhakti Sajjal Pano, Nidro, Ani Yudhira Pritti, Sahara Gorchi, Vardhi, Sajjal Pano, and those who have taken upon themselves the responsibility of propagating and of carrying the message of this human value program, they are doing so with a lot of enthusiasm. So as a result, since there is a bad need of a change in the world at large, these changes are bound to come. For instance, in a place dominated by the communists, there is There is a course of human values going on. So also in a place where the DMK people are only supreme. So even in a place where they deny God, you have a place for human values. So this human value project is one which is agreeable to all. I think because we have given such a universal title to it, Human Values Program, people of other organizations are also prepared to accept and implement it. Of course, there are differences in the way they are operating this program, in the way we operate this program. They, they tend to do it by way of attracting people and attention Whereas we take up the same project by way of giving ananda or happiness to others. That is, we try to teach them in a spontaneous way to these young children. But because of the methodology that they are adopting, they will not be successful. As a result, they may say that the human value program itself is faulty and a lot of shortcomings in it. So they may ask, human value So they may also find fault with our efforts. So all seven what happens is so by merely giving a title human value program, we may come to agree or we may be making some fixes. And all the effort, all the zeal which our people are ever seeing is not in I think it's the 
suicide program. It is not from the point of view of telling others that such a society is doing it or things such like that. What I mean to say is, so that others can make a distinction between what we are doing and what they are doing, I would suggest that it becomes part of the suicide program as such. <laughs>
message if it goes to the whole world, irrespective of any organization, I'm sure they will not say anything but accept such a fact. So, <coughs> I will now <laughs> to distribute the certificates, not to all of you, but the representative of each country. I will follow their name kindly come quickly because the one has to go to the next camp for a few minutes and then we have taken a lot of time. He's the driver. Hi, guys. He's the driver. Thank you. 